Yes, yes, guys, what is happening? Um, lack of content majorly, I know. Apologize, but we all know life gets busy. Anyway, you've heard me say it about a million times in videos. So today, let me tell you where we're at and what we're doing, which is some good upgrades. Um, yeah, I'm buzzing, buzzing for this upgrade. Uh, let me jump straight into it for you anyway. So obviously, I don't know if you watched the last video, I fitted a coil on plug kit, um, obviously to get rid of that. I've actually ordered, I made up this plate myself, it's not great. It does the job obviously, I just got to bolt them in, but I've ordered a, a proper one, a new one, and I've ordered a dizzy cap to block off the dizzy. Um, but that's literally all I've touched on this car since the last video on it really. So. Obviously this is all out still because the wiring, I've got to wire it all properly as you can see, that's the loom for the coil and plug. I've not sort of bothered with it as I've not really had time on my car. But guess what? I've got some time on my car. I'm happy. So <laughs> yeah, the plan today, right? Well, it's not a little plan anyway, but I'm just gonna get to it. Right, so this is gonna be taken apart within the hour this is what we've got happening guys right skunk 2 pro 1 cams we're going to put them in so we can send them to the moon um because obviously we know that the b18 c4 cams get restrictive around sort of 500 brakes so these are going to get their rpm and get that power where we need it so and a lot of you are cringing right now Yes, I'm going to be whacking a block guard in it as I still stand by my beliefs that CSS is probably only 5% better than a block guard in my opinion from what I've studied. So I thought why well, I've got the head off anyway. Um, and the thing is another reason I'm taking the head off is I've got an oil leak and I believe it's coming from the head gasket there. So yeah, I'm gonna try and sort that out hopefully I'm gonna have a look obviously at the head of the block, see if it's warped or anything. If it's warped, then obviously I'll need to get the head skimmed, but I'm gonna have a look. Obviously you can never tell by eye. So it's just gonna be off my own preference, really. It'd never be perfect. So if I look at it and I think it don't look too bad, then I'm gonna whack it straight back on with the head gasket. If not, I'll have to wait to get it skimmed. And obviously we're locked down, that could be ages, so I don't know yet. But yeah, we're gonna whack a block guard in it. Um, and I wanna try and send it to the moon, basically. So that's the plan today. Um, still got a load of bits to fit up here. I am gonna be making a full exhaust system for it. And I'm gonna be wrapping obviously down pipe this side. Um, and then also got my gauges that I need to fit and then crack on with the interior side of things. So literally gonna to get to it now guys, because there's a lot to do, but Loving the coil and plug, so much better, so much better. Once I've done all this, I might actually tidy up the engine bay a bit because it is a bit. <laughs> so yeah, I want to get to it. Start jacking up the car to get to to get to sort of this, the crank side of things, the crank pulley and that, and the, the tensioner. And um, yeah, bear with me, guys. I might try and get a bit of um, time lapse for you. All right, guys, I'm back. Probably an hour and 20 minutes in of taking this apart. Turns out, I knew obviously when I, I bought the engine, it was burning a bit of oil. And I thought, oh, perhaps it's like, I don't know, I said like that head gasket thing, I thought. Um, it may be just stem seals, but cylinder one is caked in oil. Every other cylinder is dry. So it looks like the engine I bought is a bit <laughs> unfortunately, but, um, I've got the stuff to fix it. So what I'm gonna do is while the head is out and before I change the cams and things like that, I am going to uh, put all new, I've got a set of stem seals over there. So I'm gonna put a whole new set of stem seals in it um, and relap the valves in just so it's all sealed a bit better. And then hopefully that will sort of solve the problem. New head gasket, new stem seals and things like that. Hopefully it's not a worn guide or really, really severe piston ring damage. I don't think it is, the piston ring damage. I think it's just a really bad leaky stem seal or something, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, but there's a lot of oil. Let me show you anyway. 
Right, right, let me do this with the camera out. Okay, so we are apart. This is what I mean. One, two, three, four. One is really bad. So I knew there was an issue there when I started. I thought there was a bit of oil burning. Hence why I really bought the, the, the cams and the head gasket and things because I wanted to sort of inspect it for myself. That was probably the main reason I bought them, to be honest with you. I was gonna run it without. So, yeah, a bit annoying. But I'm sure I can sort it. I'm hoping it's not the piston ring. I'm hoping the rings, I mean, obviously when I take it off, I'll have a look at the bore. I'll sort of obviously give you a bit of an idea because obviously if it's the piston ring's that bad, the bore will be completely caked. Whereas obviously, I don't think it's the piston rings anyway, so. Right, so yeah, I'm going to take this apart now. Um, I'm going to end up obviously fixing the head, doing the head as I just said. And obviously, I think they'll just be 18 T4 cams. I'll check them when they're out. Obviously, I bought this engine blind really, so got a, got it pretty cheap enough. So can't really complain. Obviously, every engine you buy, well, most engines you buy second hand come with no warranty, so it's all on my back. I haven't even messaged a guy and said about the engine. It's not his problem really. I bought it off my own. Like, I knew the price I paid for it, I knew that there could have been problems, so... It's minor anyway, it's nothing I can't sort, do you know what I mean, guys? So, I'm going to now get this head off and have a proper close inspection. But we're getting there. I can feel your Cause everybody knows Yeah, everybody knows And I can feel your body shaking every, every single touch And that's just how it goes That's just how it goes oh, I find it so hard Being addicted to your love I find it so hard Being addicted to your touch
Alright guys, so the head is off as you see. Um, had a little inspection on the engine. Uh, put a bit of brake clean on it. It doesn't look too bad condition under here. So I do, I had a look at the bottom of the head. I can't really tip it over now as you see the mess it's making. Um, yeah, it looks like, you can't really see. But it looks like the valve stems are leaking on this side. I believe that is the issue why she's burning a lot of oil. So. I'm gonna whip this head apart. Uh, well, I might just take them valves out and just change them for um, them for stem seals and see if that sorts a problem, obviously, as well as a new hair gasket. But one thing I did notice, these ARP bolts, there's two on this side, wasn't half as tight as these, these eight. So that could have been another issue and that's probably why I was getting a leak from the hair gasket down there. So that, wasn't a thing I have to address as well. I've got obviously the tool to change the valves, the special B series one. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna take the valves out, change the stem seals, relap them in, make sure it's all good. And then go from there with the head. Right, so now what I'm gonna do is gonna fit the block guard. Um, show you those of you who have never fitted one before. Right, okay, so. Obviously when this goes in, this goes in, you've got two ways to it. Look, you see the little lips on the edge and obviously in between the cylinders you've got, you see down there's a little lip, so it goes the surface completely flat this way. Now, before you fit it, obviously these, this is a cheap block guard from China. This is 25 pound, maybe that. When you get your head gasket, right? So you line it up, obviously this is the way the head gasket goes on here. And when you line it up, you want to line up all the coolant holes on it. So, I've not checked this guy, so this is live, I was just checking. But anyway, so what you do is, if no coolant holes match up, you drill the holes to make sure they match up on some of them, and things like that, because obviously this is to flow the coolant. And obviously, if you haven't got enough flow, you will have um, cooling issues. Obviously, your, your block will run hotter, etc., etc. So, yeah, make sure you've got enough holes in that around the water jacket so obviously your hair gasket flows the water through the, the block and that's keep it cool it needs to be flowed otherwise you're going to get obviously it probably won't overheat as bad but it won't cool as good so make sure you do that because it's just a simple thing and drill a few holes in it it's not that hard it's alley so make sure that's done when you're fitting it i'm going to get to doing it now and make sure i've got it all right why does this camera keep doing this? Sorry, guys. That's better. All right. As you can see, the block guard is in. And you can see how hard I've had to hit it to get in. Look at the marks on the block guard. It don't matter, obviously, on the block guard where the marks are, as long as you don't damage the, obviously the cylinder or the block, which is the main problem. So, and when you're fitting these, they're going to be tight, obviously, because they're, they're basically acting like a CSS to protect the cylinder from exploding. So yeah, they're gonna be tight. Um, but when you do, make sure that they either sit just below the, the cylinders or completely flush. I personally, I always go a little bit lower. People think, why not? Well, it's not, it's not flat then. Well, it don't, if you think about it, there's meant to be water jackets there. So there's not meant to be anything there solid anyway. So if they sit a bit lower, it don't matter. As long as they're deep inside and they're, they're properly in the block, that is the main thing. Because obviously the head gasket is gonna go over and the head gasket seals obviously around each cylinder and obviously around the head. So, but the block guard is in. Now, obviously, it's basically like a, a uh, poor man's CSS, you could say. So that part is done. Now, obviously, it's just working on the head time now, because obviously I need to get that issue addressed, which is annoying. But I'm just gonna crack on with it like a champion and uh, see where we can get, get it today. So I'm picking up my little kids today. I'm missing them bad, so um, I've got to leave here about two o'clock-ish. 
So, let's see where we can go. We're at the time it's about 12 o'clock now. Let's see where we can end up today, guys. Hopefully, hopefully I can get crack on and like find the tool. Cause I've got to find the tool yet to take the valves out. Hopefully, I can get get stuff done and get this uh get this head back to how it needs to be and get the cylinder sort of set up. I mean, I haven't even checked it. I'm gonna check. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna check it off on camera. See if there's any damage inside there. I'm not probably checked it yet. I've got to inspect that. Anyway. The poor man CSS is done. Block guards in, very tight fit. I think it's gonna work well, personally. So, we shall see. All right, guys, I've been cracking on, haven't filmed much. I'm gonna show you the state of the valve quickly. One of the valves. If it wants to focus, yeah. Caked. Um, the other valve's obviously there. Got the two valves. I've changed, I've done the stem seals, changed them off. I'll tell you what, the old ones were an absolute, where is it, on the floor somewhere? These, what a pig to get off. Absolute pieces. Crap. Um, I've got them off in the end, just melted them off. Got these ones pressed firmly on. So they are right down, so that's new stem seals done. I'm going to, where is it? I'm going to clean these, these valves up, obviously. Um, and then slightly lap them back in. Obviously, they won't need much because that's when they come out of. But yeah, slightly lap them back in. And then obviously put the springs on. Then I'm going to do the inlet side as well just to make sure. So that's the process. I'm at. I want to try and do it quick, guys. So I haven't got much time. And I want to try and get the head back on today. So bear with me, man. started at half nine quarter to ten um the time is now i think about half two so about four and a half hours or whatever um and i'll explain what i've done right this second so obviously as you see add the head off or whatever um done all the stem seals lapped all the valves in there obviously they didn't need much lapping because they come out of there and they're lapped already um obviously on on this side only as well Sorry, just a bit anal there. <laughs> but no, yeah, just these four done on, obviously, on the cylinder that was leaking. You can see how bad, much it was leaking. Look, nothing on the others, just on this cylinder. So, um, yeah, I'll change all the stem seals, check the valves, blah, blah, blah. Um, check the, the bore. Everything looked okay, as you can see. So, and then I've done that, and now I've talked the head back on. Um, so it's talks better. It's meant to be 80, 80 foot pounds. I've gone to 82 just to... Give it a bit more clamping pressure. Um, made sure these two are done up full this time. As I said, when I took them off, they weren't as tight. So I believe that was, well, not helping one of the problems. That definitely wasn't talked down. I'll tell you that 100%. So that's where I'm at at the moment. So all that stuff's done. Now, obviously, when I come back, I'll, I'll work like a pig. Anyone, as everyone see me, absolutely mess. Look, I don't care. Who cares? It's only me who's here, so I work like a pig. But then obviously, once I tidy up, I work clean. But when I come back next time, getting obviously these taken off here, put them to the pro ones. Get the pro ones in. Um, once the pro ones are in, I will be getting the feeler gauge and doing the, the clearances between the valves, making sure they're all okay. Blah blah blah. Obviously, they go in here. Actually, I might have to order a, a better feeler gauge. Actually, one one the bend the the ones that got the kink in it. Yeah, I'm gonna order one then because my one's just straight and it's gonna be it's never gonna get in there. So yeah, I'm gonna have to order one then. But that's what's happening when I come back. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get it all back together. 
Gonna try and tidy it up best I can under there. Hopefully that has sorted the issue, the oil issue there. If it hasn't, then it's gonna be a warm valve guide or something with a piston ring is really bad, but I would have thought if the piston ring was that damaged, the oil ring, sorry, the oil controller ring, just to get people aware. Um, I think you would have noticed some something in the bore. There would have been some telltale sign, but there was nothing. So, I mean, there might not have been, but there might not be, but at the end of the day, I think it possibly, if it worse comes to worse, it's gonna be a, a warm valve guide, which will be an absolute pig. Hopefully it isn't. Hopefully I've sorted the issue now and hopefully she don't burn no more oil in that cylinder. So that's where I'm gonna leave this video at, guys. So yeah, I'm gonna wrap the video up here for the time. And I'm gonna come back Monday and I'm gonna finish this off and I'm gonna have this. I wanna try and get the engine bay completely done by Monday, like all wrapped up nice and clean, looking, looking neater. And then once that's done, then I'll go to the inside Start ripping out the interior, um, fit the gauges, um, redo the fuel pump wiring. Once that fuel pump wiring is done, obviously on a relay, and obviously a thicker power wire because when you go for big power, that that the standard power wire isn't enough for the fuel pump. So I'm going to do that as well, and then next month, well, I'm saying next month, a couple of weeks away now, we were going to be going for a tuning day. Um, with Jesse and there's going to be quite a few cars co um, coming like five or six cars on the day um, depends what Jesse come out I might have a couple more it might be a two day thing but we're going to see I, I would rather have it one day because obviously it's, it's a lot for Jesse to travel up to me obviously he's making his money he's happy though but I mean it's just a lot of work you know so if I can have everything done on one day I will do if not I'll spam it over two days but I've got quite a few cars I've been working on that need tuning so yeah, so that's where I'm at. Um, hope you've enjoyed it. A little bit of update on the 10 second car. Yeah, just make sure you're here for the next one and hopefully we've sorted the problem. And then obviously you can see me button up this car, make it a bit more neater because we're gonna have this out on the street soon, just until next year and then it's gonna go drag car. So like, subscribe, share guys. Till the next one, see you soon, take care.